Is congratulations with a great race yesterday. You were the fastest athlete up there and down the hill. Do you still think it's possible to beat Dario? Uh, it's really tough. He is, uh, he's really strong and uh, I think the, the last two races suits him very well. But uh, we learned yesterday that nothing is impossible. So, What's going to be your tactic for the coming two stages? Uh, my tactic is to go as hard as I can and hopefully I can be up there and, and fight about the, the bonus seconds. I think uh, that it's, it's going to be very important tomorrow to, to get a lot of bonus seconds if you want to be in the top. So. With yesterday's race, did you get some extra confident now for the coming two stages? Uh, it's, it's always felt good in the, in the in the skiing, so the confidence has been there. But uh, it has uh, been a little bit of bad luck for me. But uh, I always wanted to go fast and uh, looking forward to the to the upcoming events. Do you think it's going to be everyone against Cologne tomorrow, or do you think maybe the three Russians are going to uh, who's in the top ten now? It's going to work together. I don't know this this kind of races when it's mass starts it's uh, it's hard to go in a team and uh, I think that everybody's going to go for for their own and try to do as, as best as they can. You mentioned something about uh, you were surprised when you saw Petanuto yesterday. What did you think when you saw him? Yeah, I was uh, really surprised that uh, we we could catch him because it was yeah two and a half minutes and uh, usually that is pretty hard to go so so fast but uh, yeah i was surprised and very satisfied that we could uh, could catch him and could uh, go for the second place you've been out testing the new tracks how are they compared to the ones last year yeah they're good they're pretty tough tracks here in Valdefiam and uh, they are yeah it uh, it's it's a hard track